Hi, and thanks for watching. In this video, I want to quickly discuss my top 10 affiliate marketing tips. Now, the first few tips are going to get you aiming at the right target, and the other tips will help you actually pull the trigger and take action. So if you want to be successful with affiliate marketing, then consider these tips and lessons that I've learned over the past 15 years. So let's get started. So here are the 10 affiliate marketing tips. Let's quickly run through the list and then we'll dive into each one. So tip one, have a plan. Two, nail your niche. Three, don't reinvent the wheel. Four, improve your mental game. Five, improve your physical game. Six, don't rush, but work fast. Seven, get the proper tools. Eight, get obsessed. Nine, consistency is key. And then 10 is fail forward. So tip one is to have a plan. And you know, the first few tips there are actually going to be specific to affiliate marketing. And then you'll notice that the other tips yeah, really aren't specific to affiliate marketing per se, but they're more about how to actually take action and get things done. But the most important tip is to have some sort of plan in place. So you need to understand what your strategy is. And then once you find a specific strategy, then perhaps you can look for, you know, more tips that actually correspond to your specific strategy, your action plan, you know, what your business plan is, your business model, uh, and so forth. So to have a plan, basically I have the seven step system and I'm gonna run through the, it with you quickly here, but if you want to actually learn and watch me go through each seven steps in greater detail, I have a video called the seven steps where it's a full presentation and I'll leave that link below in the description. I would suggest you get familiar with the plan that I use that I teach uh, and understand that you know this works, but if you know, it doesn't work or you don't like this plan, you need to go and find your own plan. You need to find someone that has a strategy that you can learn from. So very quickly here, the plan that I use and teach, step one, you know, know what your business model is. So affiliate marketing, basically it's just a business model where you're making product recommendations and you're sort of the middleman, you're the affiliate. You connect a potential customer to an online store or, you know, some sort of merchant. Step two is to choose your platform. So this is where affiliate marketing strategies really differ. You can do affiliate marketing on a website, a content website where you have an informational web website that ranks really well in Google. And that's the technique and the platform that I use and we sort of talk about a lot on this channel. But you know, you can do affiliate marketing on YouTube, here on YouTube. You can do affiliate marketing you know, on social media and whatnot. So you need to choose your platform and then that is going to be the strategy that you use uh, to do affiliate marketing, which is the business model. So once you've chosen your platform, and again, we use a theme-based content website, you want to choose your niche, then you want to evaluate your niche with keywords, then you want to go out and actually build your website. So you get a domain name, hosting, and you build your website, and then you produce content and you optimize it with search engine optimization. So the number one tip, out of this list is to have a plan. That was quickly my plan. Again, go watch the video that explains this plan, this seven step system in more detail. But the first thing you are going to want to do is have a strategy, have a plan. So once you have a strategy and a plan, again, business model, affiliate marketing, we're gonna use a website, you want to nail your niche. So basically the second tip here is to nail your niche with these steps. You want to niche down if you can. So you don't want to go out and create a business all about, you know, health in general, you'd want to niche that down to, you know, a specific category, maybe a specific person that you're targeting. And you don't want to choose a super competitive niche either. That's another big tip, especially when you're just starting out. If you want to go and create a website all about, you know, bodybuilding, uh, you're going to run up against some big websites that are potentially dominating um, that niche. And that's just one example. Uh, certainly it doesn't mean you can't get into a space. There's always room for one more business, but you need a unique angle and whatnot. And there's just other niches that are less competitive than some of these big, big, broad niches that you will certainly want to avoid. So that's tip number two, focus on the niche, not just the specific product. So that's another important tip that goes with your niche. You don't want to have your business just be about one brand or one product that you are basically solely relying on. So if you, uh, a lot of people do this with Clickbank, they go out and they start affiliate marketing a specific product and suddenly 
you know, people don't want that product anymore or it comes off the market and so on. So don't get tied down to one brand or product when you're doing affiliate marketing. So the resource that I can share with you for uh, finding niches that you might find useful is the 287 most profitable niches. It's basically a PDF that has a list of niches that could potentially uh, work for you. And I will include a link to this uh, in the description below. So you can go and grab a copy of that PDF. And it talks more about this important step of niching down um, from these broad uh, main uh, categories of niches to something more specific, more targeted to a specific pain point and a specific customer. So go and grab that resources. That resource, I'll include it below. Uh, this video. Next tip, don't reinvent the wheel. So I would recommend for this tip, you know, get a mentor, get a coach, join a community uh, and sign up for courses. I've learned everything um, to become a full-time affiliate marketer, earn a full-time income from learning from other people. So back in the day, I would watch YouTube channels. Uh, I had a coach, I had a mentor. I joined a bunch of communities until I find, found something that worked. And I would recommend that you uh, do the same. Sign up for courses. I have a free course. You can check the link uh, below. Go check out my free course. If you resonate with my strategy, with my teaching, then maybe that's a good path for you. And if you don't, go find you know someone else. There's tons of people that are sharing how they do affiliate marketing. But I would you know find someone you trust that you like and just kind of go all in with their system and see if it works for you. So I personally have done this and I still do it. I bought a course about how to market on Twitter uh, recently. I wasn't going to go out there and figure it all out myself. People have done it and they've created a great resource on how to you know, market yourself on Twitter. And I went and bought it. And I'm looking through it right now. So it's important that you uh, do this, take action. Don't reinvent the wheel. Don't go figure all this out. You know, find someone who's laid all the steps out for you. Next improve your mental game. So I can't help you with this, but there are so many other, you know, big time professional people out there that can, and you know, whatever style or whatever sort of things resonate with you, you know, pick someone out there in the marketplace that is helping people optimize, be more productive uh, and follow them and, you know, improve your mental game every day if you can. So on the screen here, we've got top left Jim Rohn. That's, you know, an old school guy that, you know, he would just have these great quotes and sayings um, and discussions on, you know, just being a better person, doing the right thing, um, not failing or not, not quitting, you know, persevering and whatnot. So I've listened to a bunch of his um, MP3s when working out or going on walks. Great, great resource. Uh, if you like something a bit more flashy and sort of like, um, you know, flashy cars and money and cigars, Andrew Tate, bottom left. You know, I don't follow everything he says, but sometimes he says some real stuff that will just motivate you to just be the best person that you can be. So if that kind of stuff resonates with you, then go follow uh, and improve your mental game from someone like that. Or you can have David Goggins there. Go read that book. If you think you can't do anything, you know, watch his stuff, watch his story. Uh, it's great. And if you want more of like a science based approach than um, Andrew uh, Huberman, He's got you know great stuff about improving your focus and your mental game. So affiliate marketing, you know the first few steps there we talked about specific strategies, uh, and it's really gonna you know tips more tips you can get will relate to the exact thing that you're doing. But after that, it really comes down to some of these things. You know being mentally focused, being consistent. So improving your mental game is really gonna help you do better in affiliate marketing or any type of online business that you do. Then you know. The other component of your mental game is your physical game. I can guarantee you that if you get in better shape, uh, you get healthier, you're going to do better in your online venture, if that's affiliate marketing. I can guarantee you that. So again, don't reinvent the wheel here. The fitness protocol that I use is from Andrew Huberman. He outlines exactly what to do every day of the week, and I just follow it and it works great, and it's improved uh, my healthy lifestyle, which has improved my work, uh, which gets me more results with my affiliate marketing business. So there's a huge connection there. You've got to improve your physical game. Next, don't rush, but work fast. So speed uh, is your friend. Speed is extremely important in business. This is, a, this is a quote from Andrew Tate. Everything that needs to be done must be done fast. Now, it doesn't mean it has to be done cheap or poorly. It means it must be done quickly. Everyone thinks things take forever. Things don't take forever. So you've got to act quickly. You don't want to rush steps. You don't want to do things half, 
um, you know, you, you want to put 100% in, do the best you can, but you know, it shouldn't take you weeks and months to get going, you know, just get started, work fast and do everything that you do fast. You know, it's a silly example, but you know, do your chores, things at home, just speed up everything that you do. And it's going to help you with your affiliate marketing business, you know, create a website, get things done, uh, do keyword research, just go, go, go at a quicker pace. It's going to help you with your business. Trust me. Get the proper tool. So if you're starting affiliate marketing, uh, when I started, you know, I was hesitant to buy some of the better tools that help with researching keywords, for example. And again, if you're doing affiliate marketing with some other platform and strategy, there's probably going to be some tools out there. I would recommend that you actually use them. You're at a big disadvantage when you don't use tools that are associated with your uh, business strategy. There are research tools. There are tools to uh, produce you know, uh, websites or other things on social media, whatever sort of strategy you are using, use the proper tools because it's going to make your life much, much easier. For example, the one on the screen, we've got Ahrefs, their Keyword Explorer. You can research keywords for free, but trust me, using tools is a way, way better um, path to succeeding quicker. And that thing we just spoke about speed, you know, it's going to take you so long to do keyword research manually for free when you can use a tool and you can do it basically in, you know, a hundred times as quickly. So speed is your friend, use the proper tools. Get obsessed. Now, this is something that you probably, you know, I don't know if you can learn it. I can't teach you. I don't think anyone can teach you. You sort of need it inside, but you really do need to focus and get obsessed with doing, you know, affiliate marketing for the next few years. Just go all in. On the screen there, you've got Mr. Beast. He's got the biggest YouTube channel um, in the world. And, you know, if you watch some of his stories, his documentaries, this guy was obsessed. He still is obsessed every single hour of the day. He's obsessed over YouTube. Therefore, he is the best YouTuber, the biggest YouTuber out there. So you don't need to go that extreme, but you do need to say affiliate marketing is going to be my thing. I'm going to get obsessed with it. I'm going to spend all my waking hours figuring it out, focusing on it, doing it and so on. And that's really the best way to be successful is get obsessed with it uh, and don't quit and just keep going all in, all in. And eventually it's going to work. Next, consistency is key. Do something every day and remember, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Consistency is a requirement for being successful with any online business. So earlier I mentioned I took that Twitter course from um, a program. I'm not going to go figure out how to do that. I'm just going to buy a course uh, on how to market on Twitter. And guess what? Consistency is like the most important thing for that business model for the first 90 days. You need to you know, do some outreach. You need to post. You need to write tweets. Uh, you need to comment. And it's like for the first you know, 90 days, do this every single day. And that happens with every type of online business you do. Stay consistent. You can't just do things for a couple hours today and then, you know, wait for the weekend to come around and then next Tuesday start up again. It's not not going to work. Consistency is key. You need to do something every single day uh, and don't sort of leave things or else you'll never get back to them. You got to slowly just keep going and going and going. Consistency, so important. It's boring, but it works. And then lastly, you know, fail forward. So there's a quote here from Winston Churchill, success consists of going from one failure to another without loss of enthusiasm. So everyone that starts an online business, you know, they're going to fail at something. You're going to do something wrong. I, my first two businesses were failures, but I kept going and I figured it out. Um, you know, you're not going to probably hit a home run the very first time you try anything online. Um, you know, you might, but you might struggle and you might make some mistakes. But if you just fail forward, you're going to get better. You're going to learn. You're going to be less wrong as you progress. And this is really important for any business and particularly affiliate marketing as well. Um, don't give up, fail forward uh, and keep going. So those are the 10 tips. Again, the first one, if we circle back to it, you know, what's your next step right now? I would recommend it is find a strategy and get a plan. The other tips are more of action taking tips, which you absolutely need. But, you know, you can't take action unless you have you know a plan and, and you know exactly what to do. Do this first, do this next uh, and so on. So, again, I've got a seven step system for affiliate marketing. And I would recommend that you go and watch my full presentation on these seven steps. And again, if you don't like this step or you don't like this strategy, then you need to go out and find a plan someone else has out there is sharing 
Um, don't go figure it out yourself. Find someone who is doing affiliate marketing and is doing it well and can teach you. And that's the first tip that you need to do. Get a strategy, get a plan. So I hope that you found this useful. Again, I will throw up the video uh, on the screen right when we're done here to go and see a full presentation of this plan. Uh, and if you don't like it, then just go find someone else, find a mentor, find a coach with another plan. And that's the best, best tip for you to get started. So I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.